Hello friends, today we are going to learn LDAX instruction of 8085 microprocessor. So this instruction is read as LDAX RP where LD stand for load, A stand for accumulator, X stand for register pair and which register pair we need to load that is written in operand RP. Okay, so this RP will be BC register pair or DE register pair like that you can transfer okay we will take a detailed explanation to understand it let's try to understand what is format of this instruction suppose the instruction is written as LDAXB so LD stand for load accumulator so what will happen something will get loaded inside the accumulator but what is that something the here X stand for register pair and which register pair is mentioned BC register pair. So let's say that BC register pair is holding 2030H. Okay. And on 2030H memory location value is 44H. So 44H will get loaded inside the accumulator and accumulator will become 44H. So what is format of this instruction? We are transferring content of content of register pair. Content of register pair BC is 2030H. So content of RP is 2030H and its content 2030H content is 44H. So that 44H will get copied inside the content of accumulator. So format will become content of content of register pair will get copied inside the accumulator. So let's talk about addressing mode. Here addressing mode will be register indirect addressing mode because we are not taking data directly. We are taking data indirectly from register pair. We are taking data from content of content of register pair. That's why addressing mode will become register indirect addressing mode. Or simply you can remember this technique. If you see capital X somewhere in your instruction, Okay, like in LDAX, capital X is there. So whenever you see capital X in instruction, then its addressing mode will become register indirect addressing mode. This is shortcut technique that you can remember. Now let's talk about group. Since we are transferring data, that's why this group will be data transfer group. This instruction belongs to data transfer group. Now how many byte instruction it is? It will be a one byte instruction because in this instruction no digit is there. Instruction is simply LDAXB. Instruction is simply LDAXB. So what will happen? The content of BC register pair and its content will get copied inside the accumulator. Since no digit is there, that's why it will become one byte instruction. Okay. Then flags. This instruction will not affect any flag because this instruction is from data transfer group okay and flags are getting affected only when we perform arithmetic or logical operations that's why no flags are affected let's take example example is LDAXD LDAXD so before execution of this instruction we should check content of accumulator let's say which is 22H also content of DE register pair. Suppose D register is 33H and E register is 22H. Therefore DE will become 3222H. Okay. It will be treated as single number 3222H where 33 is value of D register and 22 is value of E register. And this 3322 is memory location address of memory location and content of 3322 is 15H. So what will happen because of this instruction? This instruction will transfer the content of content of register pair. Content of DE register pair is 3322H and its content is 15H. So that will get loaded inside the accumulator. That's why accumulator will become 15H. Whereas the content of DE will remain unchanged. It will remain 3322H and the content of 
3322H will also remain unchanged. It will remain 15H. Then one more special instruction is there, which is LDAX SP. Here SP stands for stack pointer. Stack pointer. Stack pointer. Okay. Now what is stack? Stack is vertical memory. Stack is vertical memory and it will tell us up to how much location it is full. Let's say it is full up to this location and this location is 70 to 50. Okay. So this location will be pointed by SP register. SP register stands for stack pointer and it will tell us this memory is full up to this. And above this, you can use memory for temporary data storage. So stack is nothing but vertical memory. Stack is a vertical memory. Okay. And it is full up to particular memory location. So up to which memory location it is full that will be indicated by stack pointer. Now let's take what will happen because of this instruction. So before execution, we should check what is the value of accumulator. Let's say 11H and what is value of stack pointer. So stack pointer is let's say 5233H. Then on 5233H, what data is there that we will check? And let's say that value is 22H. So what will happen? The content of content of stack pointer will get copied. So after execution, content of stack pointer is 5233H and its content is 22H. So content of content of stack pointer is 22H that will get copied inside the accumulator and your accumulator will become 22H whereas content of stack pointer will remain same. It will remain 22, uh, 52, 33H and the content of 52, 33H will remain 22H. Now, here are some practice problems. Suppose instruction is LDAXD. So, accumulator is holding 30H, D pair is holding 3040H and on 3040H memory location data is 15H. So, what will happen because of this instruction? Thank you everyone.